So uh, programmatic SEO is one of the best ways to bring in truckloads of traffic regardless of your niche. Um, if whether you're in the travel niche, the hotel niche, um, whether you're running a, an affiliate site, um, programmatic SEO can change the game for you. Unfortunately, um, not many people understand how to do programmatic SEO correctly. There are loads of tutorials on, on YouTube. Um, some of them are good. Some of them are not good. Um, you can also buy a course on programming at SEO that teaches, but it does not teach you everything. So uh, left to fend for yourself when you're doing programming SEO and you run into issues that not many people can help you with. Now, a lot of people, many people have left their links below um, for, an, for a free audit, uh, try to do programmatic SEO from what I can see on their websites, and they failed at it. And not only did they fail that, but it, when, the, when the recent Google update, the Google Broadcore update in May hit, they lost a lot of traffic. And some of them were even de-indexed. De so in order to avoid all of these issues moving forward, I've, I've put together this video that addresses all the issues, all the more common issues um, that people face when they're doing programming SEO. Um, and how to address them. So if, if, if you, this will even work even if you have a, a website that has uh, three or 400 pages or more than two or three, 400 pages and um, you're having problems ranking those pages. So uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Um, and uh, right now I'm not doing audits because I've already got a backlog of audits. Um, but if you've been doing mm, programmatic SEO, um, this is a very good place to start if you're running into issues. First issue is a slow crawl speed. So one of the first things I noticed when I was doing uh, programmatic SEO back in November was that um, m many of my pages would not even get indexed. So if I published 5,000 pages on a website, hardly 350 would be indexed and it would take, a, take at least 30 to 60 days for those pages to get indexed. Um, and one of the, and one of the reasons that was the case was even though the internal linking structure I had built was good, um, but Google was not able to find those pages. So there are a few things that you can do if you if you run into this issue. Um, the first is you know build lots of internal links. So I have a video on internal uh, link structure. Uh, it's called how to rank for difficult keywords. Check that out. Use that strategy um, to link your pages. Um, so just go crazy and you know build proper links within your website. Um, then the second thing you'd want to do is you want to want to create backlinks. So you want to create backlinks um, so that it makes it easy for search engines to find your new, newly created pages. I usually go to a Quora and Reddit and build those links. I have a video about Quora and using Quora to pull in traffic. Use that technique um, to build backlinks from Quora. Uh, create a Quora Spaces and publish those links there. Quora gets indexed really fast and Google will be able to find those pages. So the next thing is to submit your XML sitemap. Add an XML sitemap to your Google console uh, or your Bing Webmaster tools. Um, uh, make sure that, the, that all your URLs that you're submitting are indexable. They should yield back a 200 HTTP response code. Um, run Screaming Frog. I, you know, just buy Screaming Frog if you if you're going to do programmatic SEO, because um, you know, it, it, it will tell you which of your pages are not properly indexed or, or can't be properly indexed, and that will save you a, a truckload of time. Um, plus, if you have more than fifty thousand URLs, create two sitemaps. So one sitemap per 50,000 URLs. Uh, Google recommends this. And so if you if you have like 100,000 URLs, so 50,000 URLs per page. And then finally, make sure that your robot.txt file is properly con you know, configured. It should always be something that you do. This allow um, specific web, web robots from uh, indexing your site. Um, use an XML sitemap uh, in your robot.txt file. Um, and that will make indexing a lot easier. The next uh, problem is duplicate content. Now, this is a very common problem, and this is something I've run into with just about every website I've audited um, that people have submitted to me through YouTube. And what I see is that people have used uh, snippets, uh, the same snippets across all of their pages. And Google 
just flags that as being duplicate content. Um, ideally, you should aim for 80% unique content per page. Now, that that is what makes generating or these pages so challenging is because you have to write 80% um, original content per page. Now, there are two ways you can solve this problem. The first is you can use, use a rewriter like Quillbot. So you can write an original article and have Quillbot rewrite it three or four times and then have another rewrite. So for every original article, you can have like four rewrites. And that will make it easier for you to scale uh, your operations. Um, but with Quillbot, you need, it's an AI tool. So make sure that you check what, it, what, what Quillbot does, read the content, edit the content, and then, make sh then publish it. Um, then the final thing you'd want to do is um, finalize your keywords. So your head terms and modifiers, um, they are not very similar. So make sure that they're not similar. So for instance, if you're doing suitcases, um, then you, you know, that, that's the suitcase is going to be a head term. Uh, the modifier can be steel. Um, it can be cloth. It can be durable. It can be branded. Uh, so these are all going to be modifiers for the suitcases. Um, you also want to pay extra attention while creating page templates um, and control the text snippets that are repeated. Make sure that you don't have text snippets that are repeated. If you have text snippets that are repeated, change them into an image and paste that to your website um, so that Google does not see that see that as being text. Ideally, you know, make sure that it's unique content. Um, the third is thin content, and this ties into the unique content thing. And if your content is thin, if you have like two or three hundred words per page, Google is not going to rank the page. People, Google is not even probably going to index the page. So make sure um, that you your pages have at least a thousand words of content um, or more, um, and it should properly describe your product. Add unique bullet points. Um, use accordions if you use accordions or hidden 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 content um, then don't do that because Google does not like it um, I've seen websites that were penalized because they were using this technique um, you can you can beef up your content by also adding uh, alt tags and captions to your images um, and if you have videos add a video so the fourth problem is keyword cannibalization I've and this is an issue that just about everyone that I've run into who, who does um, programmatic SEO uh, faces. Um, and that's because Google will come on the website, it will index it, it will get confused, it's not sure what, uh, what page to rank for the keyword, and eventually Google ranks um, no page. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that your keyword is sorted out properly. Don't use, don't use a keyword on a page that does not belong there. So if you're writing an article about steel suitcases, do not talk about uh, cloth suitcases, do not talk about wheel suitcases, do not talk about any other type of suitcase unless there's a link that links to an article or a page about cloth suitcases from your steel suitcases page. Uh, other than that, you shouldn't mention uh, cloth suitcases. The fifth and final problem is a low crawl budget. And Google generally allocates a crawl budget to every website. What your crawl budget is will vary from what the crawl budget is from a news website. News websites really, usually have a very really large crawl budget. So if your crawl budget is, is, um, is low and you're generating those pages, Google is not going to index them. Um, so the best way to maximize your crawl budget is to eliminate 404 errors on your website, um, block uh, URLs using robot.txt file, make your pages load fast, use Google PageSpeed insights to check, um, make sure that there's enough server capacity, that's where, come in, uh, that's where using a dedicated hosting comes in. Keep your URLs clean, clean. don't use qu query parameters in the URLs, um, don't have page depths more than three levels, um, and your core web vitals should be uh, clean. Um, make sure that your web, your uh, sitemap is updated every time you generate new uh, pages, and that should help you. Um, and that should help you rank a great deal. Um, you should also check out Google's crawl uh, crawl report. Um, this should tell you if there is a problem crawling your website, and you can address those problems right away. So this is this is just like 
the most common issues that you'd face. If there are other issues that you're facing and you're doing programmatic SEO, leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you and answer your question. So guys, if you like the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, I will make another video about programmatic SEO if there's enough interest.